we're going to examine the shoulder. First of all, we look for the common landmarks. Those common landmarks consist of the trapezium, the clavicle, the spine of the scapula into the acromion. You can palpate a bony prominence right here. That's called the coronoid. We look at the definition of muscle, which is the deltoid. And I can start by just doing surface anatomy. Surface anatomy being, Levi, do you feel me right here? Yeah. Okay. So we've got that sensory area for C5. Now, Levi, I want you to bring your shoulder, and we're going to go into external rotation. I'm going to turn you this way. Internal rotation. Abduction. Adduction, adduction, okay. Forward flexion and extension. I put my hand on the shoulder, and I feel the glide of the humerus with the scapula, the glenoid. It's smooth, nice, smooth glide. And you also notice that as I do this, there is no apprehension. There's no sense that there's instability of the shoulder, which you would see commonly in a loose shoulder or an unstable shoulder. Now, in this area, as we drop down into and head towards the elbow, there's a couple things that we can do very quickly. One is, hold your arm right there. Don't let me move this. Boom. And the same token, I'm going to put your arm there and I'm going to push up. Don't let me move that. Now, I think one of the easiest things in that motor examinations, which you just saw, was placing the motor in the position that you want it and having the patient hold it, as opposed to telling the patient to move it for you. We've already seen that in the first segments, and Levi, just relax now, okay? Telling Levi to bend his elbow and extend his elbow is okay, but this is actually much quicker if you just say, hold it right there, don't let me move it, and that tests his biceps, Put your elbow right there, don't let me move it. And his resistance to me tests his triceps. Same token, if I take his shoulders and put it off to his side like this, say, don't let me move it, and doing it like that, I've tested his deltoid. Now, Levi, put your arms by your side, just on your hips, and press in. And this is a nice way to examine for pecs and for latissimus in little babies, in newborns. If you reach inside and you're looking for the presence of a pectoralis major and latissimus, even if you squeeze up underneath there, they'll con contract down and you'll be able to palpate that. And we look for that in, in those syndromes where there's an absence of the pectoralis major. So that's the shoulder exam.